James Robinson has been benched in back-to-back games for fumbles. Heading into Week 12, Robinson was the RB14 overall in PPR fantasy scoring leagues. However, he's been averaging just 12.5 carries for 55 scoreless yards over the last couple of weeks. As we're approaching fantasy football playoffs, wins are becoming increasingly more important. So the question stands, should you be concerned about James Robinson going forward? I'm Dave Kluge with Football Guys, and I am here to help you break it down. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube page to see these short videos as well of all as well as all of our full length shows, including the Audible and so many more. You can find that at youtube.com slash football guys. Now, James Robinson had a fantastic rookie season, but the hype cooled down dramatically when the Jaguars selected Travis Etienne in the first round of the 2021 draft. After Etienne suffered a season ending injury in the preseason, Robinson stepped right back into his role as the lead running back. He was looking great early on in the season, and he had just two fumbles in his first nine games, and neither of those were lost. They were both recovered by Jacksonville. So to see him get benched for an early fumble in Week 12 was a little bit strange, but he was nursing an injury heading into that game, so that could have had something to do with it. He finished the game with just 52% of the offensive snaps and returned a little bit after halftime. Then last week, in week 13, Robinson fumbled early in the game yet again. And once again, Meyer yanked him from the game. For the second straight week, Robinson returned late in the game for some extra work, but this time he logged just 44% of his team snaps. After the game, Urban Meyer said that James Robinson was resting due to his injury. However, Robinson went back into that game late in the fourth quarter when the game was already blown wide open in a big loss. In an interview on Monday, Robinson said that he was asked or Robinson was asked about his benching. He said that at one point his backup Carlos Hyde was calling for a breather. Robinson started to trot into the field and was told not to by the coaching staff. Kind of easy to read between the lines here and recognize that James Robinson is being punished for his fumbles despite what Urban Meyer said after the game. Going forward, this is all pretty worrisome. Looking at fumbles per carry, Robinson and Hyde have almost identical rates this season. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to when James Robinson can or will get benched going forward, but it certainly lowers his floor as we head into these must-win weeks as the fantasy playoffs are approaching. Robinson's abilities as a rusher and a pass catcher make him pretty much immune to game scripts, and they don't really affect him, but knowing that he's in Urban Meyer's doghouse right now can make him a risky start this week. Realistically, you probably have to start him given his ceiling. Rather than a high-end RB2 he's been all season, he's looking like more of a risky RB3 heading into this matchup due to these weird circumstances. If you've got somebody like Jamal Williams or Tony Pollard, Sony Michelle, Devonta Freeman, even like Chuba Hubbard, I wouldn't blame you for starting them over Robinson this week. This drama is coming at a very inopportune time for fantasy football managers. Now, there's a chance that Robinson gets a start, sees his full workload, and goes bonkers against a banged-up Titan squad. But Robinson is pretty boomer bust this week. If you're confident with the rest of your squad and are okay with, uh, you know, maybe a three or five point floor, go ahead and start Robinson. But if you need a big performance, it might be best to take a swing on some of the guys that I mentioned earlier. Good luck this week. Feel free to reach out to me on Twitter via DM at Dave Kluge. That's Dave K-L-U-G-E. Thank you for tuning in and I will catch you next week. 